Danny Myers here with Lighthouse Video Surveillance. The purpose of this video is to help you get the most out of your Vigilon security camera system. Lighthouse is here to serve your commercial security needs. To make it easier for you to find what you need, there are links below to take you to specific parts of this video. Now be sure to stick around to the end of this video to see how to find an answer to any and all questions you have regarding your Vigilon security camera system. And one more thing, also I'm going to share with you my favorite way to export video on this system. This lesson all reviews three ways to share footage bookmarking, snapshots, and exporting video. Bookmarking allows you to index important video. For example, if you find footage of somebody entering a restricted area, you can bookmark it for later review. To bookmark a search result, you can right-click the timeline and select Add Bookmark. Depending on the type of search, you can also click Bookmark this event. Click here. In this dialog box, you can name the bookmark and enter details about the incident. In this field, you can include the incident number, names of participants, and other useful details. Detailed information about the event will help you find the bookmark at a later time. You can also include video from other cameras in the area in this list. If you select this checkbox, the bookmark will never be deleted. However, protecting video takes up space on the server. A better option would be to export the video. Protecting the video may affect your ability to comply with your site's video storage regulations. If you select this checkbox, the bookmark will only be visible to you and the default administrators group. Once you've added the information, click here. The bookmark is now saved and appears on the timeline. In this module, you will learn how to save and export snapshots of recorded video. Snapshots can provide quick images of recorded video to better identify and disseminate an image of an object of interest. For example, if you want to immediately find an individual or vehicle on the premise, you can export and print the image to provide the security personnel. Snapshots can be taken of either live or recorded video. While viewing a camera's footage in a view window, Hover over the video until the icons at the top are revealed. The highlighted button creates a snapshot of the image you are currently viewing. If you would like to create a snapshot of another image, ensure the highlighted button has been selected and use the viewing tools to find the precise instance you would like to export. If you're using a fisheye camera, you have the ability to create a de-warped image of your video. To do this, zoom into the image clicking the highlighted button or by rolling your mouse wheel up. Once you have zoomed in and the image is de-warped, pan the image until you're focused on the area you would like to capture. Note that it's important that you ensure your camera has been properly configured for its viewing angle and mounting location for de-warping to function properly. When you have found the image you would like to capture, click the highlighted button. The tab that loads allows you to specify the file format quality, and resolution of the exported image. You also have the ability to include overlays such as a timestamp, the camera's name, and its location. To more accurately refine the image quality, you can change the image region by using the same panning and zooming tools in the live recorded view. The display adjustments box also allows you to change the gamma, black level, white level, and level of contrast of your image. Once you have the image you would like to export, click the highlighted button. With ACC software, you can export images and videos in multiple formats, making it easy to share evidence with a third party. For example, you can send an insurance company video of a car accident. After you find video evidence of an event, you can export the video for other stakeholders to review. To export the video, first click the highlighted button, then click the highlighted button. Now click here. A variety of export formats are listed in the drop-down menu. 
you can export the video in either native or AVI format. AVI is a common video format that can be played in standard media software, like Windows Media Player. The native format allows you to export video from multiple cameras in a single file and retain their original compression. The native format also includes the original video metadata, so you can search the exported video, including video analytics data. This format is played in the Avigilon Control Center player, where the video can be authenticated against tampering and re-exported to other formats. The native format is the recommended format for exporting video. You can also export content in non-video formats. For example, you can export a series of still images in the PNG, JPEG, or TIFF format, or export a frame of the video as a print image or PDF file. Also, you can export an audio portion of a video as a WAV file. For more information on these formats, see the user guide. We will first look at the AVI format. Select the highlighted option now. Exporting to AVI allows you to export part of the video image. Select the camera from the drop-down list. Define a time range to export. Additionally, there are a number of unique video output features that can be adjusted. We will highlight a few here. The image rate can be adjusted using this drop-down list to determine how many images will be exported for that second. Click here now. For example, the video is streaming at 30 images per second. If you select one half, only 15 images for that second will be exported. This field allows you to export smaller files for storing on a flash drive or on optical media. Lastly, in the overlay section, checking the highlighted checkbox will include classified object bounding boxes in the export. The bounding boxes will be embedded in the video and cannot be removed from the export. For further details on the different export features, refer to help files within ACC software. To select part of the image to export, click this button. In the dialog box, you can change the region by dragging and resizing the green overlay area. Then, click here. Click the highlighted button. You can adjust the gamma, black, and white levels by clicking the display adjustment button. Then, click here. Note, AVI video cannot be authenticated and it takes longer to export. AVI format is also more compressed and therefore has a lower image quality. We will now take a look at exporting in native format. The native format is a better option since it can be authenticated to prevent tampering and has better detail. If you export in native format, you can use ACC Player software to re-export the clip later in AVI format if required. Click here now. Select the highlighted option in the drop-down list. The native format allows you to export videos across multiple cameras. To select your cameras, click the drop-down list. You can select which cameras to include in the System Explorer. In this demonstration, we will select this camera. Select this camera now. Now, two cameras are selected. If you want to include a copy of the ACC player with your export, you select this checkbox. In this demonstration, we will leave this checkbox selected as we want to export the ACC player with our video. If you want to add another video clip to the export, click here. Then select the required cameras and time range. This feature allows you to export video from different combinations of cameras and different time ranges as one export file. For example, there is a person that is suspected of stealing from a store. During the investigation, we discover that the same person visits the store multiple times over one week. This feature allows you to export one file that includes all video of the suspect from the week. Repeat this step until you've added all the clips that you need. You can remove a clip from the export by clicking here. In this demonstration, we will remove this clip. Click here now. Similar to AVI format, click here to export smaller files for storing on a flash drive or on optical media. You can modify the time range by using the various fields in the highlighted area or by dragging the time range markers. Similar to the AVI format, you can also control the export image rate. 
you can set the number of images per second. You can then export the video to a local file or to a disk. If you decide to burn a disk, the ACC player export option will be automatically disabled. For this example, we will export this video to a local drive with ACC player. To save the video to a local drive, click here. Then, name the file and choose a location. In this case, the file name and path have been selected for you. Click here to save. The file has now been saved to the desktop. Because we exported the video with the ACC Player program, we can use the player to view the export. A shortcut should appear on the desktop. Double-click it to launch the ACC Player program. The ACC Player program loads. Open the exported video by clicking here. Browse for, select, and open the exported video. In this demonstration, we have selected this file. Click here to open it. The exported video loads. As video plays, the player automatically skips through white areas on the timeline with no recorded content. If you're using this layout mode, the view automatically displays video from all the cameras with recorded content at the same point on the timeline. As each recorded video segment ends, the view hides the video that is not playing. Before I let you go, I'd like to share with you my favorite way of exporting video. Now when you think about it, in most cases that you would want to export video, you're probably going to want to have a bookmark of that video as well. So what I suggest is go ahead and create the bookmark. So let's find an event here. Let me just look on this camera here. Look at recorded video and we'll zoom in right here on this timeline. Uh, just, just grab something. Here's a, a forklift driving by, okay? So let's say this was the event that we wanted to bookmark and we can see the time frame. If I just right click on that and click add bookmark, it, it pops up with the bar exactly the moment that I started. The other bar is over here on the edge. We can pull that over to this section. So now the bookmark time frame is selected. We just need to make sure the camera is selected. Looks like it's not selected here, so we need to make sure. Let's go ahead and select that. Um, I'm just going to just leave this as just test and save it. Now, notice this, the bookmark is there, it's lit up. If we just click on the bookmark, just a single click, the first option is export. You click export, it takes you straight into the export menu with the settings that you've already set up in the bookmark. So it's a fantastic shortcut, saves a lot of time, um, just super, super easy. So that's my favorite way of exporting video. All right, I hope you found a quick answer to the subject for which you're looking for training today. If not, I have three more ways for you to get support. Number one is the Avigilon client software itself. Now up in the right hand side, you're gonna see a little gear. That's the application menu. When you click on that, then you're gonna scroll down and click on the help button. This is a very comprehensive, interactive support document that's searchable by different subjects. Next, the other videos that we have, you're gonna find those videos through this channel itself, the Lighthouse YouTube channel. There's a link below. Also, on our website, videos and content on there on the support page. If you're still needing support, you can reach out to us directly. There's two ways of doing that. One is on our website, you can go to the support tab and you're gonna fill out the form, the contact us form for that. Secondly, you can contact us directly via email at service at lighthousevs.com. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button and to make it easier to find us next time, click the subscribe button. If you wanna be informed when we put out new videos, then click the little bell button to receive notifications. Now, hey, we need your feedback. Please post a quick comment below letting us know what are the subjects you'd like for us to cover in future videos. Thank you for trusting Lighthouse for your video surveillance and access control needs. Have a blessed day.